you down. Hello and welcome back to my RC channel, I'm Andy RC, and this is episode 9 of building a high-end 450 size quadcopter. Today I'm buying and fitting the landing gear. I mentioned in episode 1 that I picked a smaller frame because I planned on fitting an FPV landing gear so there wasn't need for lots of room on the frame. Previously I have modded my SK450 with this landing gear so the FPV gear and gimbal can go up front and the battery at the back for balance. This worked really well, however on this build I want to take it one further. It's time to go to Banggood to pick the gear. This time I'm going to make a hybrid landing gear. I'm going to use the FPV landing skid shown here. You can see that it's got these rods that extend out to the front of the quadcopter. This allows the camera to get out of the way of the propellers. Then I'm going to use this retractable undercarriage, which is made for the Chearson aircraft. It's only 31 GBP. Since I bought this undercarriage though in June, a few more have been released since then that could also do the job. However, I stand by this purchase. The Chearson is a small quadcopter in comparison to the F450, therefore this undercarriage is going to be pretty light. It also has this plate which the legs attach to, and also it has its own rods that a gimbal can attach to. I plan to combine this with the FPV landing gear so the longer rods can attach underneath and give me that clearance from the propellers. There is a problem with this combination though, the legs on the base of the undercarriage are not long enough and the aircraft will topple over, I will have to come up with a solution for that. One thing I like about this Chearson undercarriage is that it comes with its own power module and combines both legs so we only have one signal output that can go into my receiver. Other landing gear solutions use separate servo wires and require two inputs on the receiver. Not only that, but they require to take their power off the receiver as well. Seen as our PIX hook is sucking up a lot of the juice, it's not advised to take any more power from the receiver or the PIX hook. So having its own power module with a JST connector is really handy. It can handle power up to a 6S. We need to get some spare JST cables as well. So let's see how I can connect this all to the aircraft. The legs screw into the plate provided. It looks like carbon fibre, but I'm not so sure if it's real or not. It doesn't matter anyways. The screws are the same type that I use for the top and bottom plates of the quadcopter. I have then used cable ties to attach the plate to the bottom of the aircraft. I did think about screwing the plate to the bottom of the quadcopter. However, from past experience, I have learnt that in a bad crash, the landing gear will break. But if you use cable ties, it's those that tend to snap away and not break anything on the landing gear. The power module comes with a sticky pad which is handy, so I have stuck that to the bottom of the plate the landing gear sits on. I have soldered a JST connector to the power distribution board to power up the landing gear module. The two JST connectors connect into the side of the power module and power both legs at the same time. I have then taken the signal servo wire and plugged it into the channel 1 of the PWM socket on the receiver. If you remember from the Tyrannis episode, I bound the receiver so that the PWM sockets control channels 9 to 16. I have then set up channel 9 on the input screen of the Tyrannis to a switch and also on the mixer screen. I have also added two custom sounds in the special function screen so the Tyrannus speaks out the landing gear positions. With the FPV landing gear, you get these rubber grommets that usually attach to a plate, which you can then screw into the quadcopter. The spacings are almost the same on the Ishim plate, so I have connected them in. They also act as vibration isolators. The rods then feed through to these other two plates, which can fit my battery, FPV gear and gimbal. You can see that the bottom of the legs aren't long enough to stop the quadcopter from toppling over. I have taken the landing legs from the FPV landing gear and then fed them through the originals to extend the length. I have added cable ties to stop them moving, however they fit pretty snug anyways. I am undecided whether it would be better to source some rods that are 10mm thick so they fit more correctly, but I'm sticking with this for now. Ignore the FPV gear on the aircraft, this is something I am testing for a future video. The last thing to do is fit the foam feet and also tidy up the wires and we're ready for a test flight. Something that is important to note is that no matter where your switch position is on your transmitter, when you turn the aircraft and transmitter on, the undercarriage isn't going to perform an action. So for example, if you switch everything on with your switch in the on position, 
then the off position becomes the trigger and vice versa. This isn't too much of a problem with the Tyrannus because if a switch is in the on position when you switch the transmitter on, the Tyrannus won't boot up until they are all in the off position. The aircraft is lifting everything no problem which I am pleased to see. So far the flight characteristics have not been affected either. I was worried that I would have to change the PIDs or redo the auto tune but that has not been the case. I have the battery situated in the middle of the aircraft for now for balance, however when I fit the gimbal it will sit at the back. The undercarriage retracts fairly slowly but I am happy with this, it sits at a nice height off the ground and is very steady. What I like about this hybrid build is that because it is designed for a slightly smaller aircraft, when the legs are in the up position they do not extend past the frame of the quadcopter which means not only does it look neat, it's really nice for storage as well. There you go, that is episode 9 of building a high-end 450 size quadcopter. Thanks so much for watching, please continue to subscribe, cheers.